Okay, folks, we're going to start by testing the sugars now. We're going to be using the refractometer, the little instrument we showed you before. This is the VG, the BTX1. Uh, before I start this test, though, I'd like to read something so that it can be clearly understood. The instruments and equipment supplies sold and are used in the screening of human urine and saliva are intended to be used for dietary purposes only and not for diagnostic purposes. The numbers obtained from the screening are to be used for determining the adequacy of the individual's diet and are to aid the individual in making any alterations he or she deems necessary. The choice to implement these changes in the diet is up to each individual and is a constitutional freedom. The author assumes no responsibility for the changes in the individual's health which may or may not occur. That was taken from Dr. Manthe's uh, uh, RBTI equipment tutorial. We just want everyone to understand that this, these tests are not for any diagnostic purposes. We, are, we test for energy essentially and we're just trying to learn the foods with, that we need to eat and the things we need to drink to make us feel better. There is no uh, purpose to cure, treat, diagnose any kind of disease or condition. Okay, first thing to do when we start testing for the sugars is we have to we're going to have to calibrate this little refractometer it's a very simple tool to calibrate as I said they give you a screwdriver with the instrument and that's what we'll be using to calibrate the instrument with um, if you have another type of refractometer they they have different ways of doing it but it's all essentially uh, a small it's going to be some type of a screw or ring that you turn to test to change the calibration of the instrument this is where your squeeze bottle will come in handy what we will will be doing is we're going to this is I filled this with distilled water and to calibrate the refractometer we're going to put one drop of the still water. This one's going to take a little bit more than one drop. So you notice how I have to tilt it to make the uh, pain level. So I just put it on like that. You'll see that's probably a little bit more and it might a little bit might come out. But that's okay. Just let it drip there. And now you have your you're ready to calibrate. And what you're going to do is you're going to look through your refractometer and you want to make sure when you look through the refractometer now I'm going to give you a picture of what you're going to see you're going to see something like this in the window do you see this circle here and do you see this scale and in this refractometer this part is blue and your scale 0 to 30 that shadow will come up or down where your reading will be. When we calibrate, we want this shadow to be on the zero line because distilled water will have no total it will have no dissolved solids in it. Better not. It's not very good water. And uh, so that's what we're doing now. And now I'm going to take it, I'm going to look in the refractometer we're pointing it to a light and we're going to make sure it's calibrated now sometimes you have to uh, it's best if you can get a little bit under a light uh, so that the light is coming right down onto the pane and refracting it in and I'm looking at this now and this one looks pretty good okay it looks like whoever was used this last left it calibrated but we're going to assume that this um, this refractometer was not calibrated so you can see how to go about this on this particular model you will see a serrated chrome or metal ring right on the front right near the uh, the front of the refractometer that's this ring right here it's very tight right now However, what you want to do to calibrate is that you have to unloosen the ring and there's a little screw right here on that serrated ring. And I need to just find this, get the screwdriver and hang on, I'll be back in the picture in a minute here. Just have to find it. There we go. And what you do is you're going to turn it to your left. That loosens. Don't, don't turn it too much. You just 
want to turn it so that you can get that little ring to turn. See how that's turning now for me? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look in there now. And when you turn that ring, you will see how that blue shadow will, if you turn to your right, it will raise the shadow. If you turn it to your left, it will bring the shadow down. They're going to put it right on that zero line. And there it is, perfectly calibrated. You're going to take your screwdriver again, and you're going to tighten up that screw again so that that serrated ring can no longer move. And I would just double check it, make sure it's okay. Double check and make sure you're still calibrated, that you didn't throw it off. And it is. And so that is how you calibrate your refractometer. The next thing you're going to do is you've got to wipe that water off. Just like this. Now one thing I failed to uh, do, and you might not have to do it here, what, I, what happens is there's a little tag here that says BTX1. It sits up top but since there's enough light being allowed in below the tag, you don't, I'm not going to take it off right now, but you really should take that tag off. Uh, it may not be just sitting there when you get your refractometer. It might be down further, and you might not get enough light in there to get a good reading. But I am getting a good reading off it. So but when you get it, just take that tag off. Okay, we have someone's urine here. We're not going to say whose it is. This is... You don't want to disclose anyone's numbers. And so what we need to do is we're going to take a pipette from our, that we had sitting here, and we're going to put that pipette in the urine. And that pipette will be used for the rest of the test, actually. So we'll, we're going to take, squeeze the bulb, and we're going to pull up some urine in here. Now, we're going to do the same thing that we did with the water, except this time we're going to do it with the urine. Again, you're going to tilt the uh, refractometer so that the glass is level so it doesn't come rolling off. You know, two drops is probably enough, but let's put, uh, let's put four drops on there just so we can make sure we have enough urine on there. And then we're going to flip the pane back on it nicely, squeeze it down, and now we're going to look into our refractometer and get a reading. And by the way, if you see this piece here on the end of this refractometer, this, is, this eye piece here is your focusing tool, and this will focus your refractometer for, to fit your eyesight nicely. It's a nice little... Uh, it works very well. Okay. Now remember, I want to show you this page again. If you remember, the shadow is going to be off the zero now. The shadow is going to be higher with urine for most people. If it's on zero, uh, that person probably would be on the floor. In a, in a coma because they have no sugar, no oxygen running through them. So most people are going to have a uh, anywhere from, uh, well, it could be less than one. It could be run as high as 10, 11. I've seen them, but normally you're going to see them run between uh, one and six. That's your most average, but you will get them higher and lower. All right, so I'm looking at this one. You want to look at the shadow, and I have a reading of when you, okay, first let me say, when you look in, you'll see large lines and you'll see small, shorter lines in the middle. The large lines are each a full point, and each line, the shorter lines in the middle are two points. Uh, so this is graduated into full holes, and, so, and they go by point two. So I'm looking at this one, and it's one, two, three large lines up, and then it's one 
and that, uh, it's another short line up, so that's a 3.2, because we had three large lines up, and then it's another half, it's in between the first and second small line, so that is actually a 3.3 .3 sugar. Okay, so we have a 3.3 .3 sugar, Let, we'll remember that. So what we're going to do is, now that we know that, we're going to first take this, and we're going to wipe we're going to wipe the refractometer with a a tissue. Now a lot of people will take some distilled water and rinse it off like this and then also rinse the uh, and then flip it over and then rinse this plate off. That's a good idea. That way you've but first I would wipe the urine off first and then just rinse it off like that with your distilled water and wipe again. You might be better off using a clean uh, tissue, although I had a little bit of clean section left. Okay, so that takes care of that. And we just put the, we put the refractometer down. I'm going to set it off to the side so it doesn't get in our way. But that's how you do the sugar test. Quite simple. Now we need to write it down. So I'm going to make a move and come back over here so you can look over my shoulder and see how we write this down.